so this is the uh, Cobot Maker space. It's all about new ways of working with cobots. And what are cobots? Well, they're like robots, it's in the name, but the co means they're collaborative. So they're, they're very much focused on how humans and uh, robots work quite closely together. The cobot maker space consists of readily reconfigurable labs which provide flexibility to create and tailor environments. We have a workshop equipped with inner and mobile robots and state-of-the-art human sensing technology for prototyping and assembling novel devices. Our living space provides an area to deploy a variety of digitally enhanced products that enables exploration of interaction between people and I intelligent systems within a home environment. The Cobalt Makerspace is a place where the public, researchers, people from industry, technologists can all come together, create, connect and collaborate. We've got a range of robots here. We've got robots that are concerned with uh, manufacturing future products. You can see them, they look like these kind of manufacturing arms here. But we've also got some social robots. Joan's sitting next to me, there's some in the background. Oh, there's an industrial cleaning robot there. So we're looking at all sorts of ways humans and robots can collaborate. And what we want is people to bring us their projects and their ideas, and we're going to help shape those and make the facility open to them. What we can do in this facility is lots of different types of research. So I'm interested in digital technologies and how we use them to address some of the biggest challenges around um, sustainability and safety in the, in the world. And my focus is on food and drink manufacturing. So for example, this robot Zappi you can see here, it's a UV uh, disinfection robot. So what we can look at is how this robot can travel around spaces, use its UV lights to disinfect the areas and make them safe. The Cobot Makerspace is this uh, brand new environment for us to work uh, on robotics in the University of Nottingham, which uh, creates this nice space full with quality equipment, powerful robotic devices. Uh, and the computational power to accompany it, including also sensor systems and human tracking capabilities. Being in this space allows us to co-create with different stakeholders, including academics from around here and uh, with, with different industrial partners as well. What's unique about this is it's, it's not your typical research lab, it's a maker space. So the idea is that you can come along here and we've got the facilities to actually develop bespoke um, solutions and environments. So for example, if you wanted to work in with some new sensors and uh, maybe one or two robots, we could put that together and develop that with the facilities we've got here. So we've got 3D printers, we've got lots of different imaging, microphones, and lots of different types of robots. It's called the Cobot Maker Space because it's more focused on making and producing. It gives us a safe space where we can deploy different projects and test our research. It's really intended to be used by quite a large number of people. Of course it's for researchers, and of course it's for industry, people who are thinking of really using these productivity enhancing robots in their production lines. But it's also for the public to see how we actually use robots in our daily life, but also in the way our actual products are being used. This might be very important in the future that people understand exactly how factories nowadays operate. And then there's the creative industry, which are using these cobalts in, in unimaginable ways. So if a company, for example, is thinking about introducing a new robot on their production line, in their facility, but they're wondering how this will affect the, the people on the line, they can actually bring that line in here and we can study it at the push of a button.